Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a marble PLA or mar marble colored PLA by Printed Solid. So let's have a look after the intro. So before I start, I want to thank Makerbox for sending me the Makerbox samples for the purpose of this Makerbox Monday series on my channel. So I get those samples from them. But uh, let's have a look at the marble color PLA. It's a, like a gray base color with uh, black particles in the in the filament, and it looks really nice when, when you print it out. So here the label says it's uh, basically normal PLA temperature, 190 to 210, um, print speed from 20 to 80 millimeters a seconds, and with a PLA based material, you have the particling fan. Um, uh, here they say it prints unique looking objects with marble colored PLA. It's a white PLA with black PLA flakes mixed in. Uh, and it's a little bit more subtle. It's really like small particles of the black. It's uh, not actual mar marble in the filament, <laughs> like they say. And this is made for printed solid. So I printed out several things I want to show you. First, I printed out my maker coin, and that came out pretty great. And as you can see, in the if I hold it a little bit back, it's mostly gray color. But if I give you a close up, you can see the black particles in the in the filament, and it gives it a unique look. And in the back side, maybe you see it a little bit more. But uh, it's printed out pretty nice, and no issues with this print. Uh, the letters came out pretty clear, and uh, there was no issues printing. I was printing at 210 degrees on the hot end of my Prusa MK3 printer, and this was coming out really good. And as this is a marble-looking <laughs> filament, I needed a statue. I found this statue on, on Thingiverse. Um, I printed out a very small copy of it first to see how it looks and it came out really nice. It's like a marble statue that has, has been scanned in. Um, here's a little bit bigger version of it. Um, it looks really nice. Um, this is printed out without uh, any infill and without any supports. Um, here you can see it's pretty steep overhangs here underneath the leg, but this printed out without any supports and without any issues. So cooling was really working well for this print. Um, it came out excellent and no issues with the print and it looks amazing. Um, you can see how, how the marble color uh, or the, the black particles emulate a marble looking print. So this is really coming out great. And then of course I needed to have a marble statue <laughs> of Mr. Belly, so I printed out Mr. Belly. Um, this also came out excellent, and here I got a tiny amount of, of stringing, but not, nothing to speak of. And, and it came out otherwise really nice, um, it's like my logo or, or channel mascot, <laughs> Mr. Belly. So this one came out excellent. Um, then I have the artist model by Gareth. And this one came out excellent also. Uh, it had a tiny amount of stringing here in between, but nothing too serious and nothing that I would have to worry about. And the smoothness of the print and, and just like on the back surfaces, it's really, really smooth. And you can see the, the marble texture or the black particles in the PLA. It's really, really nice. So I was quite happy with this filament. It was really easy to print with and, and gave me excellent results. So that was a quick look at the marble, marble colored PLA from Printed Solid. This is their house brand of filament. And you can have a look at printedsolid.com to, to get this filament. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that for you, but just check out their website. And I was really happy with this filament. It gave me great results without uh, having to dial in uh, too much was setting. I used, just used my Prusa profile uh, printing at 210 degrees. So this will be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.